What on earth am I doing with a washer and dryer in the background? Well, I'm trying to do some pre-compliance testing using the Mini SA, which is a fantastic little device. It's really incredible. The guy did a fantastic job making this thing. And I've got a DCRF splitter and my own little box here that supplies 9 volts uh, through this DCRF splitter and also supplies a 1 kilohertz signal to get the pedal to do what I want it to do. I was looking for a quiet place to test it and it turns out that the dryer is one of the best in my house I think. I tried uh, the oven upstairs but I realized the glass door on the front was letting RF through. So here we are. We're sticking our equipment in the dryer. I've got a vintage Boss TU-12H tuner, a new Polytune tuner, and my own guitar pedal, which the uh, switch broke off here. i got to fix that. But uh, this is my level meter pedal that I'm going to be pre-compliance testing. First, the Boss TU-12H. The setup is really easy. All I have to do is flip this knob, and the power power goes to the pedal here and the signal shows uh, shows up here so now the pedal is active and the SA shows uh, the spectrum this is the power on and if I turn the power off there's not much change and that's because there's so much noise here so I really want to throw this in the dryer to see if I can block a lot of this noise out in you go see you later Here it is with the device off. There's still a significant amount of noise in this room, even inside the dryer. And I just turned it on and I'm going to run the sweep again. And you'll see the spikes appear where the clock frequency is. Here we go, there's some clock frequencies showing up. This is the conductance testing. This is what the power that you get through the power port. And so uh, we're seeing some harmonics of the uh, clock frequency show up. On the spectrum here. They're pretty low down, 66 dBm, uh, minus 66 dBm there. It's a very small amount of power. But it's good to know that this was compliant, so hopefully my pedal will be uh, at or below that same level. Next we'll throw the polytune in there and see how it does. Here's the polytuner. I'm just going to sweep with it off. It looks just like the other one. And we will run with the, with the power on now and see what we get. As expected, we are still seeing some clock frequencies slip through. Now they're down in, uh, except for this first one at minus 74 dB, we see uh, maybe mid 80 dB down. This is a substantially newer technology. They probably use some surface mount caps to uh, bypass the power thing, and so they really knock those, those down nicely. Let's see how my pedal does next. And here we are with the mini bump, the view meter pedal. Let's see how it does. Here's the baseline, and here's with the power on. You can see some clock frequencies poking through here a little bit, but they are 85 to 90 dB down there. Man, I did a really good job on this. Thank you.